All right, let's head out here and work on these main objectives. And uh, uh, we'll see what happens. We might push out here to complete the side quest. Okay, so I guess we did complete a story chapter there. I wish we could, like, like let's, can we hide all this stuff? Well, there we go, let's... Secret of the First Ones. Okay. Uh, we do need to be looking for anything, basically, that we can fight here. Which includes this guy. Uh, we got some kind of blue item. I... A crafting re- oh, proto-flesh. Okay, crafting regent. I gravitate between feeling like the music is too loud and alternately then too quiet. Let's turn it up a little bit. I do feel kind of bad fighting these guys. They're very much just doing their own thing. Probably not used to predators at all. So have like no real defensive instincts. Here's one of the incense that we need to light. Or rather, one of the places where we need to light incense. So are they all going to be up in interesting places like that, I wonder? Healing up wouldn't be a bad idea. There we go, all taken care of. Thank you, Word of Glory. Uh, let's see, did we equip everything? Uh, okay. Uh, not really sure what all that was about, or why it was in my bags, but there we go. Uh, 207 waste, probably a little bit better than what we have. Apparently I have a lot of mounts uh, just sitting in my bags that have not been, have not been learned yet. All right, I think that's fine for now. All right, that is all of the meat we need. We still need all these incense, and then we need provisions collected. Where is the provisions? Keep a sharp eye out. They may be in hidden 
They may be hidden in mysterious places. Okay, so... Yeah, I really do need to keep a sharper eye out. Uh, because we haven't found any. Uh, that being said, we could mount up a little bit. Just mysterious fruit. We're good at finding mysterious fruits. Maybe we should focus on getting the incense burn. Maybe that would be something that we could actually achieve right now. That's the one that we already got. Guess we're pretty close to this field report. A skitter, skittering nibbler. Uh, you look like... Are you death? Are you void? What are you exactly? I don't know. Speak your peace. Bulva request your report. Done we're done here. Okay, good. Good report. Uh, we're done here. It looks like there's some insatiable scavengers and stuff over here, so... Uh, I guess that's gonna be contained within the report. Can we get up here? No, not really. Oh, we can. Okay. I was trying to think about like strange and mysterious places might be like up on these rocks or on like plateaus and stuff. Uh, hi. Moss worn or near stay hidden. No, we're not going to stay hidden, but we will, uh, we will try to take them out. Okay, that's her report. Still looking for more places to burn incense. Uh, with like very mixed degrees of success here. Actually feels like we're outside the area down here. Uh, what is this, exactly? Echoed Jiro Create. Oh, he's saying stuff. We just have no idea what he's saying. Creepy. I like how some of these have fallen and the land has started just to grow over them and kind of like hang off of them and just 
they, they're becoming one with the land, basically. I guess it gives you the sense that this place has existed for a very, 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 very long time. Append as many varies to that as you want to because it's probably been, you know, lots of time. Thousands of years, if not more. Uh, let's see. Man, we still need a few more of these. Two more. No danger here, these creatures seem to be unconcerned with our presence. Okay, very cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go back now. Let's go back and turn these in before we head further out, just in case. I mean, we're, we're gonna get follow-ups, right? And they're gonna send us further out into the zone, so let's just turn these in and see what, what happens then. I mean, we haven't even opened up the cipher yet, so... Apparently we're working on an overall meta bar here though, Jailer's efforts subdued. What happens when it hits 100? Do we get a new bar to fill? fortune with your quest. I will await your return. There is much to be done.
The, the intruders have entrenched themselves near the Forge of Afterlives. If you truly mean to combat them, I suggest you start there. We need to know what the Jailer is planning. Darien, take the Covenant forces and make a push from the west. All right. So we're gonna meet up with Chandras. You and the Mallwalker. Yeah, do some infiltration. East side and see what you can learn. All right. Uh, well, that's cool. I'm, I'm interested to get into unlocking the cipher so that we can start increasing some of these things. I'm assuming we're gonna get more and more gear and stuff with bonuses on it. Greetings. Uh, let's go over here and check out the side quest. Shall we converse? The burrowed, the burrowed buffinid. Okay. Have you stopped to watch the buffinids? A lovely one lurks underwater, still patient, unmoving. Wise Bud takes after him. Here's Wise Bud. They are much alike. I sense Bud desires to see this large buffinid up close. Perhaps the creature can be lured with some honey from the Vespoids here in Zareth Mortis. Until we meet once more. Uh, where is this at? That's a little ways. It's a little ways. Nothing else is really taking us out that way right now, so let's just go do this really quick. It's gonna take us uh, a little bit further than we've unveiled on the map, at least. Uh, well, what do we have? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, where is this thing, though? Oh, no! No! <laughs> uh, that was not what I wanted to do. Um, hmm. I guess I don't see, um, what it's talking about. Maybe somebody else grabbed it. There was a little yellow dot on the map. Was that just for herbalism? Was that my herb tracking? <laughs> it's been so long since I've... Yeah, maybe it was just my find herbs. It's probably what it is. Let's just move on. Um, hmm. Maybe we need to come around through here. Oh, there's a flight point here. Yeah, I don't really see how we are supposed to get to the quest. What am I missing? What is this? Oh, this is the this is a waypoint. Okay. Well, that's all fine and good. Um, doesn't really help me from being utterly confused with the zone design out here, though. Oh wait. What is this? Oh, okay. Exile's Hollow seems like a place that we'd be sent f for, like, something important. And not where we're gonna find... Oh, what is this? Yeah, I just wish I understood some of these things on my map. Collected Concordances. so confused. I don't think it's supposed to be confusing. <laughs> like... Okay, wait, is something happening?
Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of guidance on just what the hell is happening here, what this is trying to mark for us, because I honestly have no idea. It's a little bit frustrating. Uh, and then we're back to attempting to find this quest. Maybe we don't do this right now. Maybe this uh, doesn't happen right now. I don't know. Be a little bit out of our way for nothing, but... Let's come up here. Maybe we can get up onto the hills or something. This just leads us into the alcove, right? Is that gonna? That's not gonna lead us out anywhere. Um, yeah, I, I honestly have no idea how one would get to this. Lured to the surface of the water. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just pass on that for right now. I, I honestly am not really understanding what we're looking for. With some honey from the Vespoids. Okay, yeah, I can't find the Vespoids. We have grassland raptors, and that's it. Also, okay, let's let's move on. Moving on would be good. We, we'll probably be sent back here for something else, like maybe main story related, and we can hold off on this until then. Yeah, I, I don't know. It'd be cool if I walk up to one of these markers on my map and there was something here. Okay, good. So the chests are actual chests. Giant yellow things could be anything. You need a Provis cash key. Of course I do. Why, why wouldn't I need something I've never heard of? It, it makes perfect sense. A Provis cash key. Nightshade. Okay. So the little yellow things that I'm seeing are just herbs, right? Which... We can collect them. I, I don't know what I've gotten. Herbalism is only at 96 out of 150, and alchemy I barely touched, so... That's where we stand with our Shadowlands professions. Uh, really had no interest in leveling them up. Okay, so we're getting into the different looking part of the zone here. This part more resembles a desert, obviously. Some, maybe some of the bioengineering stuff has gone wrong here. And there is our girl Chandras. I never miss a shot. You've arrived. Their movements here are strange. It almost seems as if the bulk of their forces are elsewhere. On your mark. The little I have seen so far has given me almost no information about our enemies. We will have to take a closer look. I can hide the both of us from sight on your command, but stay away from the Dreadlords. Their eyes are sharp enough to spy even a hidden huntress. Goddess, watch over you. And what of Contessa's idea? Has that found success? So they seek to control the Forge. Come, let us find one of these obelisks. Sworn are tampering with the obelisks. Hmm. 
Look, up ahead. They have already destroyed an obelisk. That was close. These obelisks appear to channel the Forge's power. The remaining ones must be protected. The Sentinels stand ready. Uh, we've discovered their immediate goal. We should return to our allies Consider quickly. These obelisks must be key to Zoval's plan. Even without full knowledge of their purpose, we should stop the Mallsworn from meddling with them. I will bring this information to High Lord Bolvar. Head to Darien Morgren and do the same. He will need to plan his defenses around this. On your mark. Alright, and where is he going to be at? He's back here. Oh, look at this. The marker moved, guys. It moved the marker for the honey from over here to all the way over here. Okay, that's great. Perfect. Now we can come down here and maybe do this. Alright. Uh, I guess I have to stay in stealth in this area? Yeah, no mounts. Ground mounts are not allowed here. Alright. Great. Okay. I'd like to kind of just get out of this little area and maybe have my mount again would be great. Also haven't seen any of the Vespoids or whatever in the world they are. So, not sure. Not sure what's going on with that. Oh, look. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Kind of tempted to hang out here and wait for respawns uh, because this is one of the only areas where we kind of have figured out where they're at. Uh, failing that, we can head down here and do the wanted poster. Uh, we still can't mount up here. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's just something that's a part of the zone. We're also obviously not in stealth anymore because we kind of fought a bunch of stuff. Uh, so there's that. Not being able to mount up here feels kind of weird. Feels a little weird. Getting some like flashbacks to the early days of the Maw. Which I don't think anyone wants to go back to that, but here we are. Uh, the drop rate on this is, is not great. That's true. Uh, we got our mount back, so that's good. Oh, okay, so right within this area, Provis Strata, we can't, we can't mount here. Target's not in line of sight. Okay. Okay. Alright, sure, whatever. Yep, perfect, perfect.
let's see if we can come down here and maybe we find the wanted poster. This is like a sheer cliff face that I, I can't conceive of how we're going to get around this. Uh, I could have mounted up. Mounting up would have been good. Mounting up would have been a good idea. Yeah, the topography here, it, it's hard to get into this, like, outer ring. I, I'm having a really hard time navigating here because of it. Like, we have to get onto the other side of this wall, I think? Which doesn't really look like it's gonna happen at, at any point. Is there somewhere we can, like, walk? Okay, we, there's places where we can walk through. Or, or no, this is just taking us inside. <sighs> okay. Maybe if I'm having trouble getting somewhere, it's because I'm, I'm not supposed to go there yet. That's really all I can think of. I don't like the big prohibiting, like, barrier wall that's just kind of, like, blocking all attempts to get onto the other side of it. Not really a huge fan of whatever is going on with that. Let's come down here and see if we can find a way out. Yeah, here we go. We have to get... There's like the specific lanes that we have to get to in order to get out past this wall. Uh, so we have to go all the way around. Which, maybe I'd be fine with if I were good at finding any of these secrets or whatever that we haven't found any of yet. The enlightened provisions that are in strange and mysterious places. I wonder if we're going to come across any of them just naturally. Looks like there might be some honey around where the wanted uh, named guy is, the world boss. I don't know if it's even a world boss. Calling it that might not be entirely accurate. Now, this is recommended for uh, like three players, so I don't know. This guy's probably going to crush us, right? Because we're way under geared and there's only one of us. Yeah. Might be imminent crushing. Not not sure, but crushing may be imminent. We could probably keep ourselves healed up quite a bit. If we put all of our holy power into like keeping healed and we're cycling through defensive cooldowns, we might stay alive. Are we avoiding that even by moving out of it or what? Okay, we do need a heal. What's gonna suck is when this guy has some kind of enrage. Like an enrage timer. Here we go, here's some help. Got a feral druid in here looking awesome. Yeah, he was repairing there. I guess we can interrupt that. Eventually, we're going to get him. Well, there we go. Look at that. Okay. Uh, can we... 
Uh, I guess we can turn this in right over here. That's good. Unexpected, but good. Blessings to you. I do not understand why it was behaving in that manner, but we will be safer now that it is gone. Might I go with you next time? Uh, you probably should stay here. If I'm being honest. Uh, we do need to grab the flight points. The waypoints. The ancient translocator. <laughs> okay. We got it. Let's see if we can find these remaining Vespoids that we need. Here we go. Ah, uh, cool, that missed. <laughs> Big whiff. Perfect. Okay, we, he, it's like he knows we're trying to catch him, you know? He's like, don't let him tag my mobs! Yeah, we didn't. We didn't get to tag any of them. <laughs> perfect. Perfect, perfect. Let's just come over here. Get a little distance. Wow, we just got completely, utterly crushed right out of existence. And yes, tell me we're on the wrong side of a rock. Oh, that's fucking cool, I like it. Let's, <laughs> let's go up here, uh, where we might actually get around. Yeah, those guys can hit hard when you pull six or seven of them, I guess. Uh, I'm sure that our item level helps out a whole lot. Did we get like a piece of gear? I feel like, I feel like we should have got some shoulders or something, right? I thought my inventory was like good to go, that I had emptied enough things to like be able to like l visually read my inventory, but yeah, still, still have a hard time um, with all the junk in my inventory that I just wish didn't exist. Probably need to do a more thorough clean out. How are we getting back? We have to go through the town here. It feels like all the mountains and stuff, the, the tall barriers are in our way, are, are obviously just put there so that when you get unlock flying, it feels like purposeful to unlock flying so that you stop having to deal with these obstructions. Uh, it feels like that more than it feels like it's not like an organic landscape, you know what I mean? It's clearly level designed. Uh, which makes sense for the theme of this place, actually, to make it to that it would be designed, I guess. Uh, designed to be harder to navigate. Um, I don't know why, but it's possible. But yeah, I'm sure when we get flying, it's going to be great just to hop over all this stuff, right? Okay, let's uh, not pull as many, I guess, or just maybe play it safe. Just play it safe, I guess. Can we pull these guys? Maybe. Fourteen out of fifteen, we are almost done with this quest. It's really weird to me that initially it marked it all the way on the other side of the map, and then like, we were surprised, you know, when we can't find any out there, because they don't seem to be out there, they seem to all be on this side of the place. Okay, that's awesome.
yeah, I think we're going to... I think we're going to teleport back over here, and then we'll run up here. So when we're talking about the story chapters, are we going to be doing one a week? Are we going to be able to do the first one and a second one in the first week? I really, like, I didn't engage with... You, well, here you go. You can see exactly how long I engaged with, with Chains of Domination before I completely fell out of it. It wasn't fun. I didn't think the zone was interesting. I didn't like any of the progression systems. Uh, so yeah, you can see how far I got there. And I feel like all three of those chapters I did, like, week one. I don't think I was back for a week two. I don't know, maybe. It is a particularly beautiful day. Uh, okay, that's all that he has for us. And so now we head up here. Uh, do we want to jump this? Uh, let's play it safe. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. We are driven by a single purpose. Retribution. The enemy has not yet been able to break through our defending line, but I fear we will lose the battle without your assistance. Uh, where is the battle happening? Over here? Over in this direction? There's the shoulders. Battle for the Forge. Our forces have been holding out so far, but we have not secured the area. We could use some assistance cutting down the enemy's numbers. This should be a simple task for you, Mallwalker. Together we ride. The Four Covenants are working together here, along with the Otoma. Unfortunately, some of our soldiers have been separated or wounded and are unable to return back here. If you could aid them, that would help tremendously. We are eternal. We are... Alright, fight things, click guys. You know, basically what we've been doing. Oh, you're going down. We shouldn't have stood in front of you, though. That was, that was not smart. Not smart at all. What about this guy? Is anybody on him? I'm gonna take this guy over here. <laughs> Seems a safer bet. Wait, these guys are all elites. I mean, granted, they don't have a lot of health left. Um, I don't appreciate whoever is chaining me. It's very rude. Yeah, I don't really want threat on all these guys, but it seems like threat on all these guys is exactly what I have. Yeah, I'm having like 
poor guest flashbacks. No, please don't do that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, I want to get away. Can I get away? No, I can't get away? Great, great, perfect. Now oh, where are we? Okay, at least we respawn relatively close to our bodies. Yeah, I can't get into combat with that many. We don't have the gear to support it. So I can't I can't engage with the big groups at all I guess uh, so I can't, I can't go in on that if I if I aggro any of them I'm gonna end up pulling all of them and we can't handle all of them. We can focus on freeing some of our guys that might be a smarter thing to do. Okay, good. After we free them, they're gonna come and give us a hand. And let's be honest at this point, guys, we really need a hand, don't we? We could use lots. And I wish they were a little bit less erratic, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers. Here's a lowly single enemy. We could probably take him. Especially now that we got some help. Alright, we got all the kills we need, now we need to find guys to rescue. That sound, it came from the direction of the obelisk at Provost Flora. Impossible. We've let no one through. Hurry, follow me. Oh, uh, is, is... Okay, so Darian might actually do... No, he's gone. Yeah, <laughs> see, so he might actually do something. No, he, he vanished. He's gone. He, he, they couldn't have him run right up here. He literally had to despawn and reappear. For us, there's no peace, no rest. All right, what do we have? Uh, I think we've been, yeah, well, so much for that, I guess. Darkness Can we not... Okay, there we go. So this guy has 10% health. Let's just... Let's finish it off. Harness 
your hate. Make it useful. Uh, okay. Perfect. Well, with how long it took us to take on those uh, four guys, this should be an interesting fight. Kind of hoping Darian does something useful here, like maybe he'll tank the whole time or something, you know? That could help us out a lot. Doesn't seem like he really wants to, but who knows. This guy, this elite, was weaker than the four regular Dreadlords we fought. That makes sense. He mounts back up right away. They managed to hide themselves. This bodes poorly for us. The Dreadlords infiltrated deep into our ranks. Bolvar must know what has happened. I cannot leave my position here. Quickly, give him the news. We must forge our own destiny. Oh, he's all the way back here. He went all the way back. Oh, great. Uh, we know we, we won't get out of this inner ring unless we go up the little ramp here and actually get out of the inner ring. We need to pay attention to what ring we're in uh, before we pick a direction. If the obelisks fall, the Moss One will gain access to the Sepulcher. What? No! The Sepulcher is the most sacred of places. This cannot happen. You must stop this! Uh, Alright, Provis Fauna is it. normally regulated by Atama constructs, but there have been reports that they are no longer working. According to the reports, you are the one responsible for tampering with these nodes, which means it is on you to fix it. Now, what was I what uh, break in communication. Morgrain's request for reinforcements is unusual. We were already planning on reinforcing the area and sent three different outfits his way. From the sound of it, none of them have arrived. And nothing is true. If we are dealing with dreadlords, they could be disguised as anything, including the denizens of Zareth Mortis. Fortunately, we have just the thing for dispelling their illusion. Search the fields and test the Atoma. If you find any dreadlords, take care of them. We all have Okay, uh, so we are headed back out. We still have not found any enlightened provisions. Maybe one will uh, reveal itself to us soon. We're gonna head I think to the orders first, and we will look for nodes, and then dreadlords a little bit further north of that.